Okay, today I want to talk about the constitution, the Italian constitution, the one we have now. So, um, after the war, when all the fighting was finished, obviously the Italian state was completely destroyed. Um, it was defeated. Uh, so, they had to rebuild the Italian state. Uh, the groups, the armed groups uh, in that moment uh, had to come together, they had to put down their arms, come together and then decide how to live together. Uh, to do that they had to write a constitution. Um, so the process started with the election of the of representatives for these groups, like you had the Christian Democrats, the Socialists, the Communists, all the anti-fascists, uh, not the fascists because they were defeated, but all the anti-fascists uh, had to get together um, and they, they created a constituent assembly to discuss this new constitution that would, was going to transform Italy because the old the old constitution obviously had not brought them to a good place so they had to reinvent Italy uh, decide what was going to be Italy um, what it was what the what the, the values were the identity the uh, rights and the duties of the citizens and what the state was to do in its relationship with the citizens and etc etc um, so first thing was an election to this constituent assembly um, and then start in commissions to discuss the different parts of the constitution uh, this constitution was different in in many ways uh, we can think of the characteristics one of the characteristics of the uh, Italian constitution now is it's voted for. Um, the, the representatives that discussed this and voted on this constitution were, were elected. So they were elected to represent. So even what they produced was, uh, we could say, voted for because they were elected. But actually, uh, people did vote for them to accept the constitution too. Um, this is different from the uh, Statuto Albertino. We know that was conceded by the king, so uh, the people didn't really have any influence and choice. Uh, they were just given this from from high, uh, and there was they weren't protagonists in any way. So th in this way, it was a bit more democratic. But it was also long. Um, this constitution goes into many aspects of people's lives, of the citizens' lives. Uh, if I think about the English constitution, uh, which is very short, uh, a lot of it not written even, um, but this constitution talks about how to create a political party for example, um, it talks about uh, the, 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 the health system's public, uh, uh, everyone's got an entitlement to health. Ah, oh, oh, in the English, because she says nothing written about the health system or the, you know, how to, or the unions or the education system. Um, it's very detailed in that way of what the state uh, should, should be or what is a family, you know, it even defines a family um, in the constitution. So, uh, we can say it's, it's long. Um, we can even see it as a program. Some people have described it as a program. Uh, there's Article 3, which we know says the Republic removes obstacles which impede our full development in terms of equality and freedoms. And that in itself is a programme.
you know, it's a program, a political program, it has values in it which are of the left and, and of the right. Uh, but it's, uh, it's can be defined as a program. Um, it's also rigid. It's difficult to change. We mean when something's rigid, it's difficult to change. Uh, the Statuto Amputino wasn't. It was very flexible. An ordinary law could change it. And the same with the English Constitution. Uh, you know, an ordinary law changes it instantly. So it's very flexible. <coughs> Italian Constitution, you have an aggravated procedure. Uh, has to go through the Parliament twice and achieve a, an aggravated majority, so a higher majority than the 50%, normally acceptable, um, or it can go to a referendum. So it's, it's quite difficult to change because really we're changing the rules of the game. We're not just changing a, a law, a rule, we're changing actually like a in the football matches, the rules that get the players can't change the rules as they go along with the majority. No. So the constitution uh, is seen to be needing rigid rules because those are the rules of the game um, that you know must be respected. And then it's a compromise. That's very different from the, the Statuto Albertino. Um, again, the, the Statuto Albertino came from the king alone and uh, was conceded, so there was no compromise with the constitution. They had to come together and not everyone got what they wanted 100%. Nobody got 100% of what they wanted, in fact. Um, they had to maybe accept some things they didn't want in exchange with things that they wanted. Uh, uh, and that's the way it is with uh, a, a bigger group of people with a pact. It's, as proper, it's really a social pact between the different parts um, of Italy or representatives of different parts of Italy. And so they had to find something they were all reasonably happy with even if it wasn't 100% uh, happy. So it was a compromise, we can say. And it's another characteristic that defines the Constitution all the way through is it's democratic. I mean, if you go into the Constitution, it talks about the sovereignty belonging to the people. So there, the people have the will, um, the power to... to the, the, to express their will uh, and you know we can see the separation of uh, the magistrates from the other powers which is so important so you've got a rule of law um, and not rule of an organ or, or one person and you know all the human rights etc the rights we, we need for a Democracy is very important to have the minorities uh, protected with human rights, fundamental human rights that cannot ever be um, taken away, even if the majority wants. Uh, otherwise, it would be a tyranny of the majority. So then we can define this as a, you know, a defining characteristic of this document is it's democratic.